Okay, pals, welcome back. It's currently halftime, the Sunday night game between the Steelers and the Raiders. Uh, Coach Scott just shared some news, some electric football news with me, and I wanted to uh, share this with uh, everyone that watches this channel as well. Uh, we, uh, we have our first communique from the new owner of Tudor Games that came in very recently. Some, some huge news, some very good news as far as I'm concerned. Now, yes, it's true, I've been... Uh, highly critical of Tudor Games for the past as long as this channel has existed. and But it's under new ownership, okay? And for the first time in what feels like a year, uh, there have been some changes to the website. Uh, one change is that the sticker figures are no longer uh, uh, listed as being included with the uh, Ultimate uh, Game Boards. Uh, the reason for that is because by Christmas time, painted NFL teams are We'll be back. Um, uh, that's a few months away, but uh, it's September now. Yeah, a few months away. So uh, be on the lookout for those. Right now, the, the stock of painted teams is abysmal, and it's been abysmal for a very long time. They, they went all in on those uh, incredibly stupid sticker figures that no one ever asked for and no one wanted. And uh, I don't know what they plan to do with those. Hopefully they sell those at a highly discounted clearance price just to get rid of them to the four or five guys on the uh, Tudor Games forums that actually like those. Um, later this week, apparently, uh, uh, we, uh, a stock of uh, collegiate painted teams are incoming. And that's, that's big news. It's been a long time since those have been available. I don't think uh, collegiate teams have been available since Tudor was known as Miggle Toys back uh, several years ago. Uh, so that's going to be great news. Um, I currently have the volunteers. I've had those for a while now, three years. And the Army and Navy, thanks to uh, Coach Archie. So uh, there's room to grow in my collection for some collegiate teams. I I'm not sure which ones will be available. Probably top 25 from last year. That's how I would have done it if I was stocking those and and planning MOQs for the, that, that sort of thing. But uh, those are incoming collegiate, uh, painted collegiate teams, NCAA. Uh, I don't know what the selection will be. We'll, we'll all find that out together. But hey, just anything right now, anything is good because there has been nothing for at least a year. And uh, so that's good. Uh, what other big news? Ah, uh, Tudor Games will also be selling ITZ bases on their website. Not sure which ones. I would imagine starter bases. I would imagine blitz bases. I uh, also seem to recall that they'll be selling tweaked bases on their website. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a sampling of some of those tweaked bases uh, that will be available from the gentleman who tweaked them, and I can attest they are quite good. Um, as far as B nut stock, I'm sure he'll put up his mean th or his. Uh, his Pro Pack uh, Fab Five figures that are pre-painted. In fact, I think he already has. If those aren't leftover sticker figures without the stickers, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, I hope he also makes his own custom decals available uh, on that website. Um, what else? Oh, uh, apparently uh, changes to the Ultimate Game Boards, uh, including uh, removable field covers, magnetic field covers. Uh, hey, if they're not too pricey, that sounds, that sounds very appealing. These will be four by four feet by two feet field covers if they're for the ultimates. So, uh, also, uh, perhaps a new motor, uh, one that will be strong enough to where you don't need two on one of these. Frankly, I don't need two on mine, but, um, uh, some of the pros out there insist on using two motors on the uh, Tudor Ultimate field. So, uh, lots of big news incoming, pals. Um, I was hopeful that would be the case with the move from the West Coast uh, to the kind of sort of East Coast. And honestly, I feel like a lot of my dreams are coming true as far as that goes because you know, learning that there is now a partnership between Tudor Games and ITZ Basis, that gives me hope that there's plans to ditch the Invisa bases and start packaging uh, ITZ starter bases with electric football game boards. Uh, no word in this communique on smaller, more affordable sets. Um, there are no more 36-inch Pro Bowl boards on the Tudor website. 
they've just, I don't know if that's been discontinued or if they've sold out. Um, good riddance, as far as I'm concerned on those, because those Pro Bowl sets suck. And unfortunately, that's what I chose jumping back into electric football after a couple of decades of a hiatus. And, um, well, if you go back and watch some of my early videos, I struggled on that thing. Um, so no word on what they're going to do about that. I, I hope uh, they change the frame at least, um, regardless of what they intend to, uh, what they intend to, uh, what sizes they intend to, to sell this holiday season. They may be saddled with old, sock, uh, old stock that they must move uh, this holiday season, but uh, the reintroduction of painted figures is going to be huge. Uh, there will be, a, uh, I'm confident, there will be an influx of sales on that. Now, as far as the hit from the sticker figures, which may have been the cause uh, of the sale uh, of Tudor Games anyway, um, because they were expecting a, a crowdfunding goal of forty-seven thousand dollars or something like that, and they got around five thousand. That was that was a huge blow, I think. That compounded with all the terrible uh, R and D over the past decade. You know, the plastic game boards, the uh, plastic frames, the um, uh, the Invisa bases, half of which were okay, the other half of which were unmitigated disaster, even worse than total team control bases that were untweaked. I think the coup de grace might have been the sticker figures. And, uh, well, you know, that wasn't even an original idea. They they copied that from Subutio. There have been folks making sticker figure Subutio players for a long time over in Italy. So that, that wasn't even an original idea. But again, Tudor Games is now under new ownership. For my, as far as I'm concerned, there's now a clean slate, and there's already some positive news to report. Uh, it took them a few weeks to, to move the stock from one side of the U.S. to the other, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a new day. Now, I don't know if that's reciprocal. I don't know if I've been blacklisted from the database and the point-of-sale computer system from ever buying from them again. We'll find that out, I guess. I have no intentions of, of, of rejoining the uh, Tudor Games forums or to uh, have any dealings with some of the, um, um, I need to be nice and, 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 and be as gentle as, as I can with it, bootlickers uh, sucking up to whoever owns Tudor Games that hang out on that particular website. I'm sorry, folks, I have no respect for bootlickers and, uh, folk, and toxic positivity. I, I'm, I, I can't stand it. The toy industry at large is plagued by uh, shills and individuals who will who will tolerate no criticism of products and uh, well as a consumer advocate I have no time or patience for toxic positivity and in, in individuals like that but that doesn't mean I can't be optimistic and, and have high hopes for what I'm seeing and hearing as far as the new ownership of, of Tudor Games goes. Uh, he's, a, he's a phenomenal electric football player. He's a phenomenal YouTuber. His electric football games are extremely entertaining. He's run his own business, B-Nut, for, for quite some time. And so I can be critical of what's happened with the company in the past, but I can still be hopeful and optimistic about the future of the company under new management. And that does not make me a hypocrite. I mean, for Pete's sake, three of my biggest concerns have already been addressed. Uh, the absence of painted figures, um, uh, a partnership with ITZ bases, or a potential partnership, and um, improvements uh, to the merchandise. And I hope whatever they plan to improve on the large Ultimate Sets uh, carries down to the uh, smaller sets. Uh, lower prices would also be great. I, I don't know if they're in a position to do that. I mean, come on, $300 is restrictively prohibitive, especially for new players. Uh, $70 is pretty prohibitive for what is available currently uh, at $70. But I did notice on the website that... Um, Frankly, I couldn't find any mention of the sticker figures with the uh, Ultimate Fields, and I didn't go check the, uh, the teams to see if those are still available. I don't know if they've pulled them completely off the website or not. Uh, I imagine those will be available in future at a heavily discounted price. 
And now, if I go out and buy a bunch of those and then be like, oh, wow, these are great, then you can call me a hypocrite, and I'll bend over and take it. But I'm just happy that new stock for electric football is being made available at retail rather than uh, through basement builders' websites on the tertiary market. I, I don't know if this is going to save electric football from oblivion, but uh, it's not going to hurt it. And if the primary retailer wins, we all win. Okay? Well, thanks so much for watching, pals. I'll, uh, I'll try to keep everyone abreast of any new electric football news as it becomes available. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.